YouTube. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, The Masculine Legacy. And in this video, guys, we're gonna be talking about that why I am doing God level semen retention from now on, right? Why I am planning to do it on a massive big level to invoke the real spiritual metaphysical benefits of semen retention and how I will change the kind of content I will upload on this channel and how you can benefit it from it guys. So please like this video, share this video, comment on your views and subscribe to my channel if you are new here and if you are into this self-help kind of content and real authentic self uh, development content for young men right or particularly for men so without any further delay let's jump into the video guys so uh a day back i relapsed and i know that it's a very frustrating situation a day back i relapsed uh, and i'm not gonna talk about how i relapsed and what was the reason because that's not the point of this video guys but the point which i am making in this video that from now onwards i'm gonna be following epic level god level semen attention right and what is this god level semen attention what do i mean by this i mean by this that from now onwards i won't have any sexual relationships whatsoever with any women i won't jerk off ever which this was i, I was even doing before right uh I was I will try to minimize the nightfall and I will try I will try to reprogram rewire my subconscious mind too so that I can uh, at least uh, reduce the number of nightfalls I'm facing and uh, also eventually cut off the nightfall from my routine from my life right to say a goodbye to wet underwears in the morning. <laughs> If you got what I mean. So, as I told you that I relapsed and now onwards I'm making some changes. And what are those changes? I'm going to tell you in this video, guys. The first change, as I told you, that from now onwards I won't have sexual relationships with any women whatsoever. Uh, I'm planning to go on a full celibacy mode, full monk mode. But it's all in God's hand. It's all a God's plan. Whether he will give me a wife whether he will give me a godly, virtuous, righteous wife. If he blesses me with a virtuous, godly and faithful, loyal wife, obedient wife, obviously, then uh, I won't have any problem uh, in sleeping with her, into uh, ejaculating inside her body. I won't have any problem with that because uh, that is that is something which is ordained by God. That is something which is not frowned upon by god that is something which is very beautiful it's a unification of two bodies and it's a spiritual union sex is a spiritual union and if it does it is if it is done between uh two married partners if it is done between the uh, under the restrictions of a wedlock then it's uh, blessed by god right other than that anything is committing sin committing adultery and it's fornication and fornication is strictly prohibited by god so i i will adhere to god's guideline even in a more strict way than i used to follow right so this this will be the first point i won't have whatsoever any sexual relationships and this i am promising in front of camera that's why i recorded this video guys that's why it, this video is like a promise to myself and i want to hold myself accountable that's why i'm making this video and telling you guys that what I am doing and what changes I am making in my lifestyle, right? To be that ultimate masculine godly version which God has given me the, the potential to, uh, to become a true masculine man, right? So, this will be the first change and the second change will be uh, that from now onwards, I won't, I will be more 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 cautious and i will be very very strict with what kind of content do i watch what kind of things do i listen and what kind of things do i talk about right and what do i mean by this like earlier i used i used to watch some movies and in between some movies if there were some uh, 
semi erotic or some like kissing cuddling kind of scenes uh i though i'm strong to handle this but i won't leave a single path where i can slip on this holy journey right see my attention and that's why i'm going to be very very careful with what i consume right if i'm watching a movie i'm going to uh, i'm going to see what the storyline is and what kind of age if it's an adult movie if it's a 18 plus movie i'm not going to watch it if it has a lots of erotic or semi naked kind of scenes i'm not going to watch it i'm not going to uh, watch any youtube video any instagram video where they have these half naked ladies i'm not going to do this not anymore and also i i'm uninstalling my instagram guys uh, so if anybody of you is contacting me on, or contacting me on instagram at least for a month or for some period of time i'm not going to reinstall my instagram uh yes in longer run i have to work on my instagram game if i want to put out my message to a larger audience but for now onwards i'm not going to participate in this insta bull crap because i'm just fed up of it as i told you i'm not going to leave a single crack from where the satan can attack i'm not going to leave a single way i'm not going to leave a single crack where from where the devil can attack on my mind right that's what that's the level of commitment which i i am on right now guys right and uh, number 3 which a lot of uh, which a few of people uh have commented in my comment section that my thumbnails are erotic and my thumbnails are triggering guys the sole reason to put these kind of thumbnails is this this is a harsh truth it today's time nobody like majority 99% of the people are not clicking on a good uh on on a, on a normal thumbnail right where a normal girl or a normal guy is there they are clicking on a thumbnail because they see a booty or they see a, some cleavage or they see some kind of semi nakedness they are clicking on that this is a harsh truth so i used to put these kind of thumbnails so that more and more people should click on my content and more and more i get more and more views and subscribers but i have realized that that to just to get some views just to get some subscribers just to get some kind of content or some kind of co- comments or some kind of shares i am not going to ruin my spiritual journey i am not going to ruin my uh my own personal progress my own personal growth i'm not going to ruin it guys and that's my promise to you that from now onwards from now on now onwards you're not going to see any kind of super triggery thumbnails yes there will be clickbaits because that's the youtube game but you're not going to see like semi naked or very erotic or very triggering kind of thumbnails on my videos from now onwards i'm going to um uh, i have repented <laughs> you can say like this from now onwards i'm not going to do this so you guys you guys can be assured of that and uh, as of my last point which i want to make my last point is that i'm going to take my spiritual journey more serious before this point i was uh, i'm 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 i was also serious about my spiritual journey my religious journey but from now onwards i'm going to take it like like life or death i'm going to take it like a do or die situation i'm going to do this uh, even more seriously because i believe that a person who is pursuing semen attention a person who is pursuing this journey this holy sacred journey he should think about then the physical benefits above then the mental benefits about like cut cut out all this crap female attraction and confidence and this and that and physical power and more gym reps yes they are good if you are a beginner yes they are good if you are just starting out on the on this journey but if you are a man who has some kind of experience on this journey if you are a man who has experienced this journey then you know that we all are spiritual beings who are granted this human existence just we are spiritual beings who are enjoying who are living this human life who are living this human existence right we are not this flesh body right and as bible say, says that we are not fighting against flesh and blood we are fighting against principalities morality is in the spiritual realms in the spiritual world in the parallel world and that's why i wanted to quote guys that i i finally have realized this that if you are doing semen attention and if if you don't have an element of god and if you don't have an element of religion and if you don't do it for for the sake of that lord has 
stopped you from doing all the, all these sins and lord has ordered you to to stop participating in sins and repent and seriously seek the kingdom of christ and seriously kingdom seek the kingdom of god if you're not incorporating this element in your semen retention journey then you are bound to fail guys and you will lead nowhere right maybe you can pull up some 10 15 chicks and maybe you can sleep with them or maybe you can get a ego boost or some kind of confidence boost or some kind of benefits so called quote unquote in your life but that's going to that's not going to last forever because you are not doing it for the right reasons you are doing it for superficial reasons for physical reasons and ultimately eventually you're going to be saturated uh, saturated and fed up of the uh, physical reasons and this is why i tell you guys that you should do semen retention for metaphysical for spiritual reasons you should be like a monk you should be like a total celibate man who is pursuing his semen retention who is pursuing his seed retention journey seriously and who is doing it for the sake of god and who is doing it for the sake of salvation who is doing it for the sake of experiencing higher consciousness i'm doing it this for no chick i'm not doing this for a for a girl i'm not doing this uh, to get some kind of confidence yes partially you can say i'm doing it but my ultimate goal is to achieve salvation my ultimate goal is to seek the kingdom of god my ultimate can uh, my ultimate goal is to be the man of a god i want to be in in god's army i want to fight from god's side and this is why i'm i'm, I'm on this journey of semen retention and that's why i advise you guys that's why i tell you right don't relapse guys stay strong i'm going to make a video detailed video on what kind of benefits do you lose when you relapse and how do how, what kind of experience i am experiencing after relapsing uh, for about 36 or 37 days and what kind of benefits do i feel that i i have lost and how i'm recovering from it and i'm going to tell you all this in a separate video but this video is strictly for those people uh who want to pursue semen attention for god and who want to who really want to elevate to the next level and who just don't want to practice this practice on the on the physical and just a normal just like a normal chappy dude who want to take this on to the next level this video is for those guys so i hope that you find it beneficial i hope that you get some kind of value out of this video guys so that's it for this video and i hope uh you will like the message and you will share the message you will subscribe to my channel comment on your views in the comment section i will meet you in a new video till then keep smiling and keep fighting against the satan keep keep busting his neck right keep throwing punches into his face that's what we all want ultimately so this is signing off this is masculine legacy signing off and chill guys god bless you Meet you.